Hey guys, Gary Dean, Infinity Custom Works, DetailJuice.com, and Gary Dean Detailing. What you see behind me is my O2S10, and today I'm going to be spraying the brand new, well, it's not brand new, and as the name says, it's a VersaCoat 13. It has taken us 13 years to get to where we are today with the formula. Of course, we've dropped it for a couple years at a time and then gotten back on top of it. And in the, in the last three to four years, it's really taken a turn for much, much, much amazing. And so I guess where we're at now is it's ready for a release. It is doing everything I need it to do and more. And um, I tried to really think outside the box for this one. We designed this product originally because this is the marine version of the Infinity Auto, Infinity Marine situation from a couple of years ago. Um, we went with the marine version because it was just bottom line stronger. It has more ceramic in it. Um, it has more UVA and UVB inhibitors in it. Um, it's just better all around. Uh, it, 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 it protects better. It's, it's, um, it's anti-corrosive. You don't have to sand to lay it down. We've got the bonding really awesome. It's self-annealing, which means one coat will become one with the second coat if you apply two or ten. Um, but anyway, this is a video of me. I'm going to show you how to mix up and spray the Chameleon Pearls that I'm going to spray on my O2S10. Now, keep in mind, this, this truck is already black. So a lot of these Chameleons, you want to lay them down. Well, Color Shift works best on a black base. Don't worry if your car is not black. I can provide a solution. I have one. Um, we have black pigment we can put into the VersaCoat 13 to darken it up considerably. And when you spray one to two coats of that, your car is much darker, which means the pearls and the metallics are gonna shine a lot more on a darker base. Uh, so for example, if you have a silver car and you wanna go with a color shift pearl, we would spray a couple of coats of the tinted VersaCoat 13, the black tinted VersaCoat 13, and then we'd spray a couple, two to three coats of the pearl, uh, and then you'd put a couple of coats of the actual VersaCoat 13 with no pearl in it on at the end, if you so choose. Now, when I did some of the testing with the hood for my 99 Blazer in previous videos, that pearl laid down so awesome. And the reality is I put two coats of the VersaCoat uh, 13 on top of that. And while it did give it a little bit more depth, you really couldn't tell a massive difference. It was already super glossy. Um, so today we're gonna, I'm, this test is a couple things. First of all, I've always wanted a chameleon paint job on uh, basically a, any car. And I bought this one specifically to do this with. Um, I bought this a few months ago and I'm just getting around to being able to do what I'm trying to do. But this is gonna give me a lot, I'm, I'm actually data logging today on this job. It's gonna tell us how many coats we need of um, pretty much everything we're doing. Um, it, you know, as far as giving full coverage, uh, making it look amazing, being able to change the look, being able to add gloss, uh, thickness, that kind of thing. Uh, we're gonna find a lot out today. So without further ado, I'm just gonna show you what's going on. Now, what I've done is I've got everything washed, clay barred, and taped up. That's all that I've done. I have not done the official wipe down. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to use some isopropyl alcohol to wipe this thing down. We're going to straight up use 91%. Um, I generally buy my alcohol at Sam's Club. I get a two pack and it's cheaper than it is at Walmart. So we're gonna wipe, we're gonna use these blue shop towels, we're gonna wipe the whole truck down with the isopropyl alcohol to remove any and everything that's on the surface. I have already done the prep shampoo. 
Uh, so there is a prep shampoo. I already did that. I already blew everything out of the residual areas. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put you on the tripod and get started on the wiping it down. And basically this is going to remove any and everything that's on the paint at this point. Um, I did clay bar after the fact, after the wash, which is why this is considerably more important. Um, so the, the prep shampoo will absolutely remove any and everything from the surface that we don't want to be there and um, that kind of thing. But when you go using a lubricating product like Infinite Use Details Use, you are basically introducing polymers to the surface and you're going to need to go ahead and wipe down afterwards with alcohol or well we'll just say just use the alcohol i do have a prep and prime spray um, i unfortunately don't have any with me right this second which is why i'm using this the prep and prime actually has a a really nice bonding agent that really helps the um acrylic based product that is versacote 13 to bond, uh, we're not going to have any bonding issues. I'm not worried about any of that. In fact, I'm probably going to want to change this uh, chameleon color shift at some point, uh, in which at which time I will do a video on that and uh, show you guys what's up with that. But yep, straight up 91% isopropyl alcohol wipe down. So I'm going to go ahead and. Go around the whole car with the 91% alcohol and I'll bring you back as soon as we're done because then we're going to use a tack cloth. Let's go. Okay, so I've learned a lot so far. This is, I did two other cars early on. So this is the first car I've done with the fit, first complete car. We've done lots of test panels, lots of different testing and whatever, but this is the first full car that I've sprayed with the VersaCoat 13 that I'm releasing March 1st, 2023. Now, I learned a lot. What I learned was less is more. I could have gotten even coverage on the first coat with the pearls and then just let it dry and then went right back in with another coat of just the Versa coat without any pearls in it and been awesome. But no, I was like, let's maximize the effect. And I'm always, let's maximize guy. But you don't want to always do that. You want to get even coverage with your pearl coat. Then you want to go back with just one coat of just the clear itself. And you're good to go. Um, I used 
probably double the amount of pearl we should have used. And again, we're figuring it out. This is not what this stuff was designed to do, but it does this very, very well. It was designed to bring back boats and RVs uh, that aren't easily polishable and won't come back from the dead. So what I need to do is get some gloss on some of the areas now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over everything with one coat of clear VersaCoat 13 with nothing in it, and I'm gonna call it a day. I definitely have some sags that I'm not happy with. Um, again, I chalk it up to learning how this stuff lays down. And doing a full car is very different than doing just a panel. You have far more control with just one little panel than you do with multiple panels on a whole car. Um, again, this isn't perfect. I didn't expect for it to be. I expected to have some hiccups. Like I said, I just wanted to get a feel for what it took, how much product, uh, how much effort, and how much time, really. Uh, and so I've got a great, great idea of that. I can tell you that the prep from dirty truck to ready to spray was about three hours. Um, and that's wash, decontaminate with a clay bar, wipe everything down, tack cloth, tape everything up, cover the wheels, all of that, it's about three hours. Um, I have spent about an hour and a half, we'll say two full hours on the actual spraying the thing, and then we're gonna spend about 30 minutes pulling everything apart. So between five and six hours, you can do a whole car, so which means in an eight hour day, you'd have no issues getting a car done, especially a, a mid-sized car like this. So. I'm gonna go ahead and give it about 15 more minutes to dry. It's almost dry. In fact, there's some on the roof that's not quite dry and on the hoods, but uh, most of this is dry. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and give this about 15 more minutes. It's super hot and humid today. Um, and then, like I said, I'm gonna hit the whole thing with a gloss coat or a flow coat, if you will. And then uh, I'll let you see the finished product. So I'll bring you back whenever we're done. Okay, so I have pretty much com completed my O2S10. Learned a lot, like I mentioned in the last clip. This is not the best work I'll ever do, but I've only, I've only shot three full cars, two of which were smaller than this, and they were three to four years ago. I've never done a full car until today where I mixed in the pearls and tried to figure that out. So what I was trying to do today is figure out if the ratios the manufacturer of the pearls suggested was correct, which it's not. I have to dial it back a little bit for this stuff to basically evenly flow out in the VersaCoat 13. But what I want you guys to notice when I show you all these sags and everything, because I over applied on purpose, I'm testing guys. This is not my best work. This will not be my best work, but it, it is a test and a learning opportunity for me because I want to be doing a whole lot of these sprays. It's awesome. Um, so a couple of takeaways, I would absolutely use about half the amount of pearls I used. I would try to get better coverage in one coat and then let that completely dry and then follow that with one solid coat of clear, uh, the VersaCoat 13 right on top with no pearls. Um, I got a lot of sag in the pearl and because of, well, I put on too much material, period. So it sagged the pearl as well. So less material, less pearl is the takeaway from this, but I think it looks pretty good. Now you gotta ask yourself, should a O2S10 with 97,000 miles, now that's not a lot of mileage, um, should that be perfect? No. Does it look pretty awesome from, I'm probably standing eight feet away. Let's say 
All right, so you're about 10 feet away and I'd say it looks pretty damn good. I got a bunch of sag in the pearls there. It's not so much a sag in the paint or in the VersaCode, it's actually pearls just sagged up. So, we definitely got our super awesome color shift. Got some good gloss. Super happy with how it turned out. Got some sags again right there. Not amazing. You see what I mean? It just started sagging up on me. Again, I'm probably gonna clean, clean this off and redo it in a couple of months. But what I think I can do, I, I, I got a run right there, but that's all, yeah, I actually started trying a few things over here. This is all actual, just the Versico 13 with no pearl in it. So I'm gonna be able to sand that out. Not real worried about that. But if you'll notice, there's literally no orange peel. Well, there's a little bit right here. Now, this I just sprayed this. But you're looking at very little orange peel. Pretty happy with how it turned out. Now I got a lot of sags in the pearl back here on the tailgate. I think it looks cool. Doesn't bother me a bit. But again, for the first car, I'm not unhappy. Not even a little bit. So, once this totally dries, I might give it a shot at sanding a little bit of it. Again, I'm gonna redo it. I, I had to shoot one whole car to know what's happening. So that's where we're at. All right. I mean, virtually no orange peel. I mean, there's very little, not enough to even sand out. It looks super awesome. I'm very happy with that. I will absolutely be doing this again soon. I've got several cars lined up. Um, you absolutely can do the two coats necessary for this pearl look. Look, I used extra material. I literally could have cut back on half of everything. Half of the amount of pearls I used, half of the amount of the VersaCoat 13 that I used. Um, I learned a whole lot today about applying this stuff. Um, a little bit goes a long way. And uh, keep a wet edge. Mixing 50-50 with acetone really does a great job um, of reducing the product. And like I said, with exception of just a couple small runs, it looks great. I mean, you can't deny that that looks pretty damn good. And the lack of orange peel is pretty freaking amazing too. So, you know, again, I will do it differently next time and I'm sure I will learn more every time I do a vehicle. And that's why I'm offering considerable discounts on the first five or six that I do. So, um, you know, I've sprayed the product, but I've not sprayed a full car with the pearls. So again, it's a learning, learning experience and I'm very happy with how it turned out. So stay tuned for more videos. VersaCoat 13 gets released March 1st, 2023 at detailjuice.com. Uh, if you're interested in this product, reach out. I am going to be doing a training here at my shop at the end of March with all that I know, all that I learned today. And by then I will have done several more cars because I have two more coming in after I get back to work next week. Uh, we're going out of town uh, and then we'll be back to work doing more of this because this is awesome. I'm very happy. I was able to give myself a complete chameleon paint job for what would cost your cost on this. It's 200 bucks for the quart. A quart will give you 
enough for two solid coats without question. That'll give you one coat for the pearls and it'll give you one coat to put basically the VersaCoat 13 in clear without the pearls right on top of that. Uh, it's high build, so you're gonna get really good build out of this stuff. And I used about $30 worth of pearl on this car. I used more than I should have. Um, but you can, it's a good bet that you're gonna spend about 30 on pearls, probably 25 to 30 on masking per car. You're gonna spend $200 worth of um, VersaCoat 13. So you're gonna be around 250 bucks all in to do two coats. So that's either two clear coats, one coat on two cars, or a pearl coat and then the top coat on top of that. So 32 ounces is plenty when it turns into a half of a gallon, so 64 ounces sprayable. So. Uh, to do a vehicle like I did, you can expect to pay about $250 worth of materials uh, and you're going to spend a full day doing it. So um, I am offering these this service. Uh, I am charging $1,500, $2,000 and $2,500 right now. That's the introductory price to get a full vehicle sprayed with pearls and then with the top coat um, you can't get this paint job for anywhere near that price the other cool part about it is when i'm done with this when i want it to look a different way or go back to the black that it was originally give her a wipe down with acetone and by the end of the day i can spray something else on this thing so it's pretty awesome. I mean, you can't say that about paint. You can't, you cannot have your car painted and then go wipe it down with acetone and the paint is removed. That's not how that worked. This is way better and cheaper than having your car wrapped in a chameleon wrap. You're looking at four to 5,000 bucks to wrap a, I, I got a quote for $5,000 to wrap this truck in this same color, but in vinyl. This would be a medium sized car. That would be two grand to have me do this to your entire car. And then when you're done, I can just remove it for you and spray it again. You, the value is there guys. If I didn't see the value in this, I would never even mention it to you. But anyway, that's my O2 uh, S10 in green to purple color shift. And I'll be doing more of these. So I guess let me know if you've got questions. Again, I get it. This is not perfect. I wasn't trying to make it perfect. I was trying to learn a lot today. In fact, uh, overusing, underusing, and all of that is part of research. And that's research and development is how you get better. And I'm no painter. I have painted a few times, but I'm figuring this out pretty easily, guys. I can tell you a couple more of these and I'm gonna be dialed in. I learned so much from just doing this one time, which is why if you guys are interested in get, getting into this, my recommendation would be to buy enough materials to do one of your cars, practice. If you don't like it, remove it. Uh, unfortunately, you're gonna have to spend the money, but that's part of the how the world works. You gotta spend money to make money. You've gotta learn this so that you can apply it. Um, if you don't put in the time, you're not gonna be any good, any good at it. That's it. And then you won't make any money because nobody's gonna want you to do it if you do a crappy job all the time. So for me, this is exactly what I was looking to do. Put some color on the truck, learn a bunch about it, because if I can't fix the runs that I put in, I'm just going to remove it and do it again. So I will do it until it's right, and that's it. But 
Let me know if you got any questions, but it worked out super awesome. You can see the color looks great. Thanks for watching, guys. Check me out on Instagram, gary.dean.35. I'll put that right here. And 813-846-4406 is my cell. Thanks for watching, guys.